Anthony was facing a complex situation in his family life. His daughter and his new wife shared conflicting versions of what happened at home during his absences. Determined to clarify the mystery, he decided to install a hidden camera. However, upon watching the captured footage, Anthony realised that the situation was much more intricate and deep than he had ever imagined. Follow Anthony on his journey to uncover the truth about his family and the secrets surrounding their relationships. Hello my friends, I am Linda and this is the Linda's Stories channel. I hope you enjoy this story. Anthony and Elise were a loving couple, the kind that inspired those around them. They embodied the model of a lasting relationship. Even after more than a decade together, they kept the flame of love alive. Their gazes were full of affection, their touches as gentle as a soft breeze, and their words always sweet as honey. For their friends, it was almost impossible to imagine one without the other. Together, they were the epitome of joy and hospitality, opening the doors of their small yet cosy home to welcome friends and family. The evenings at their home were magical, with lively gatherings taking place in the lantern-lit garden. Laughter echoed, the aroma of delicious food lingered in the air, and music filled the atmosphere. No one wanted to leave the environment of happiness that Anthony and Elise created. From this beautiful union, Sarah was born, a baby who reflected her parents' radiant personalities, she brought even more joy and completeness to the couple's lives. Each of Sarah's smiles was a balm to their souls, reaffirming the love they shared. Life was moving at a perfect pace, but destiny sometimes holds painful surprises. Elise began experiencing frequent dizziness and intense headaches. She had always been a very positive person, someone who did everything to keep everyone around her happy. For this reason, she hesitated to share her health condition with Anthony. She thought it would pass, that it was just a temporary inconvenience. On a day when the sun was shining brightly outside but the curtains were drawn in Elise's room, Anthony found her curled up in bed, hands on her head, as if seeking relief from unbearable pain. He approached her, the concern evident in his eyes. Elise, you should have told me sooner, Anthony said, his voice filled with love and worry. She looked at him with eyes full of tears. I didn't want to worry you, she murmured sadly. I thought it would soon pass. With frequent doctor visits and a series of rigorous tests, the inevitable verdict was finally given. A dreadful disease had affected Elise's brain. The diagnosis cast a dark shadow over the sunny life they had shared until then. The fight that lay ahead was long and painful, a battle against an invisible enemy that threatened to steal the precious moments they had planned for the future. At that moment, Anthony held Elise's hands tenderly, promising that they would face together the challenge that destiny had in store for them. Their love was the anchor that would keep them united, no matter what the future might bring. The struggle that unfolded was indeed harsh and cruel, pushing Elise's body to the limit. Painful treatments, invasive surgeries and long hospital stays were part of the routine she faced. But throughout all these difficult moments, Anthony was there, steady as a rock, holding Elise's hands when the pain seemed unbearable, massaging her tired feet after long days of treatment, making soothing compresses to ease her suffering, and even reading aloud Elise's favourite books to distract her from the painful reality that surrounded her. Sarah, the couple's daughter, now 12 years old, observed the unwavering love and affection that existed between her parents. She felt deeply privileged to have been born into that home, where love not only survived adversity, but also grew stronger with each passing day. To Sarah, her parents were true heroes, living examples of courage, commitment and unconditional love. She learned precious lessons from them about empathy, resilience and the importance of being present during life's difficult moments. After a long and painful battle, Elise's body eventually succumbed to the unspeakable disease. The pain that descended upon Anthony and Sarah was immeasurable. The loss of Elise left a deep void in their hearts, an absence that felt unbearable. Friends and family gathered for a moving and touching funeral where tears were inevitable and words often failed. Each person present had something to say, a story to tell about Elise, a gesture of gratitude to register for all the moments of joy and support she had provided over the years. Anthony and Sarah, father and daughter, sat side by side, sharing the weight of the irreparable loss that their lives had faced. Their embrace was a mutual refuge, a source of consolation and strength as they dealt with the premature departure of someone who meant so much to them. 
The months that followed were of profound adjustment for father and daughter. The absence of Elise, who had been the emotional cornerstone of the family, left a tremendous void in their lives. Everything seemed out of alignment, and mourning was a constant shadow that accompanied them at every step. Little by little, Anthony and Sarah began to find a way to be a family without Elise's physical presence. It was a gradual and challenging process, where they learned to cope with the longing and to find strength in each other. The routines that had once been so familiar underwent significant changes, but they continued to share special moments and to create new memories together. More than a year had passed since Elise's departure, and finally, Sarah and Anthony had found a routine that allowed them to move forward, even though the longing for Elise would be eternal. But a surprise was about to shake the lives of that family. One day, Anthony called Sarah for a serious conversation, and the expression on his face indicated that he had something important to share. They sat down in a quiet place, and Anthony began. Sarah, there's something new I'd like to share with you. A few months ago, I met someone very special with whom I have a lot in common, and I would like you to meet her. Her name is Justine. The news that Anthony was starting a new relationship caught Sarah by surprise. She looked at her father, trying to understand the complexity of the situation. Mixed feelings of surprise, curiosity and concern passed through her mind as she processed Anthony's words. Anthony continued, Sarah, I understand that this may be difficult to accept, but Justine is an incredible person, and I really want you to meet her. She is not a replacement for your mother, no one could ever be, but she is an addition to our life that I believe you might come to like. The next day, Justine was invited to dinner at the family's house. Sarah, although she acted politely, showed indifference during the meal. She didn't pay much attention or show interest in the guest. It was evident that Justine's presence still caused discomfort in Sarah, who was trying to process the complex feelings that this new situation brought. Anthony, understanding his daughter's reaction, decided to give her the time she needed to deal with her emotions and adapt to this change in their lives. In the months that followed, Anthony and Justine continued to strengthen their relationship, but Sarah remained reluctant to accept her father's new relationship. As time went by, Anthony and Justine decided to make their commitment official. Living together would now be a daily occurrence and Sarah would have to adapt to Justine's permanent presence in the family. Justine was determined to win over her stepdaughter, and Anthony was happy to see that his new wife was making a genuine effort to build a bond with his daughter. However, a business trip arose for Anthony, and he would have to spend a week away from home. When he shared the news with Sarah, his daughter expressed her concerns. Dad, you're not going to leave me here with that woman, are you? She doesn't like me. Sarah, Justine is a good person and I trust her. She will take care of you while I'm away and I'll be back soon. Try giving her a chance, you might be surprised. Anthony's week-long trip came to an end and soon he was back home. Justine prepared a warm welcome for her husband with a delicious homemade meal and his favourite dessert. She was happy to have him back and wanted to make his return special. However, Sarah seemed strange and distant in Anthony's presence. He noticed the change in his daughter and became concerned. That night, when Anthony went to say goodnight to his daughter, Sarah closed the bedroom door, stating she had something important to tell her father. Anthony sat beside her on the bed. Dad, you need to separate from Justine. She is not a good person, the girl said with a serious expression on her face. Anthony was surprised and concerned by his daughter's statement. He asked worriedly, Sarah, why are you saying that? Did something happen while I was away? Sarah seemed hesitant, searching for the right words to explain to her father what she was feeling. Finally, she said, She doesn't treat me well, and she tried to put away the pictures of Mum that were around the house. Anthony left Sarah's room completely confused by the information he had received. As he walked around the house, he noticed that the photos of his late wife, Elise, were still in the same places they had always been. This only added to his perplexity. Justine was in the kitchen, finishing up the dinner dishes when Anthony approached her. She smiled at her husband and said, Anthony, I'm so happy. I had a great week with Sarah. It seems like we're starting to understand each other better. Anthony was now completely lost, feeling as if he were in the middle of a riddle. Each woman in his life was telling him a different story, and he didn't know whom to trust 
or how to resolve this complicated situation. Determined to better understand what was happening between Justine and Sarah, Antony chose to closely observe the behaviour of the two. However, what he saw didn't provide much clarity in his conclusion. Justine continued her efforts to win over her stepdaughter, showing affection and care. But Sarah remained indifferent, reluctant to open up to this new relationship. The following week, when another work trip came up, this time with Antony being away for only three days, he saw an opportunity to unravel the mystery surrounding the relationship between his wife and his daughter. Hoping to get some answers, Antony placed a hidden camera in the living room, carefully camouflaged among some books on the shelf. When Antony returned home and accessed the footage from the hidden camera, he appeared incredulous at what he was seeing. The footage showed Justine and Sarah in complete harmony, strikingly different from the conflicting stories he had previously heard. They shared meals, chatted amicably, and even organised a movie night, bringing mattresses to the living room and sleeping side by side after watching a film. Anthony was perplexed and confused. The footage completely contradicted the version Sarah had shared with him earlier. He couldn't understand why his daughter had complained about Justine's behaviour when, in reality, they seemed to be getting along very well in his absence. Anthony realised that there was something much more complex at play, something that perhaps was beyond his comprehension. He knew he needed to have an honest and open conversation with his daughter to try to understand her feelings and concerns. Sarah, tell me the truth. What's going on between you and Justine? Sarah, emotional and with tears in her eyes, confided in her father. Dad, the truth is that Justine and I are getting along really well. She truly is a good person. But when I realised that I was starting to like and accept her in our lives, I felt guilty. It felt like I was betraying Mum, like I was allowing someone else to take her place. It was to rid myself of this guilt that I asked you to separate from her so she would leave our lives and I wouldn't betray Mum. Sarah's words were laden with emotion and anguish. Anthony hugged her lovingly, now understanding the internal conflict his daughter was facing. He stroked her hair and said gently, Sarah, I understand how you feel and I'm sorry you had to go through this. Your mum will always be an important part of our lives and no one can replace her. But love is an amazing thing and it can coexist in our hearts. It is not a betrayal to allow someone new into our lives as long as love and respect remain. Let's find a way to move forward together as a family, honouring mum's memory and accepting Justine as part of our lives. Sarah hugged her father, agreeing that it was time to allow a new beginning for the family without ever forgetting their mother and the love they felt for her. The family continued to write their own chapters in peace and harmony. Over time, the relationship between Sarah, Anthony and Justine flourished and strengthened, and they learned to honour the past while building a future together. The memories of Elise remained an important part of their lives, and their love for her never faded. Just like Sarah, sometimes we may feel divided between the past and the present, between precious memories and new opportunities. However, it is possible to find a balance, honouring our cherished memories while making room for new relationships and experiences. If you enjoyed, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment with a number from 1 to 5 to let us know how much you liked the story. Also, watch the video that is currently on your screen. See you soon.